When using a pyroelectric energy sensor together with the pulsar instrument, we can configure Starlab to detect missing pulses. Here's the basic idea. If we have a sync pulse, but no matching laser pulse is detected by the sensor, we can set up Starlab to record a missing pulse. Conversely, if the sensor detects a laser pulse, but we have no matching sync pulse, we can have Starlab ignore the detected laser pulse and assume it to have been spurious or noise. To illustrate this, consider this diagram. Here are the sync pulses. Let's say we configure Starlab to look for the rising edge of the sync pulse. We can tell Starlab to expect a laser pulse during some defined time window before and after the sync pulse's rising edge. If no laser pulse is detected by the sensor during this time window, Starlab records a missing pulse. We can also have Starlab ignore any detected laser pulse that's outside this time window, if that's what our application needs it to do. This is done as follows. First, we need to take a clock output from the laser driver and connect it to the BNC connector on the Pulsar instrument. We then need to turn the external trigger function to on. Once that's done, we go into the Options top menu item and go into Advanced Functions. We select Trigger Configuration. Here is where we're going to actually tell Starlab what to do. By selecting the appropriate Trigger Configuration mode, we can tell Starlab to look out for the rising edge or the falling edge of the clock pulse. And then we can configure Starlab to only pay attention, for example, to pulses that come within a specific time window before and after the rising edge or the falling edge. We would enter the appropriate time frame here. We can also configure Starlab only to pay attention to pulses that come while that input is held high or held low. We're also able to configure Starlab to send out a pulse from that BNC connector I mean, any time a laser pulse is detected. This can be used, for example, to trigger some external circuit. Here we would configure uh, Starlab to send out a pulse that's either high or low by selecting output high, output low from the trigger configuration mode. Please feel free to visit the Ophir Photonics Group website for further information or to download the latest version of the Starlab application.